In this lecture, we will learn DC resistance of PN junction diode. As the operating point of diode moves, the resistance of the diode will also change. In the load line lecture, I explained you what is an operating point, what is an operating point, and how operating point changes with change in resistance. In the same way, if we change the operating point, the diode resistance will also change because operating point is nothing but I D Q and VDQ these are the coordinates of operating point and if you change the operating point it means you are changing the current through the diode or voltage across the diode or both and when you change them the resistance will also change because resistance is equal to V by I so this is very easy thing to understand and the type of applied voltage will define the resistance levels if you apply DC voltage then the resistance will be different and if you apply AC input the resistance will be different because in case of AC input the voltage and current will be alternating and you have a resistance which is different compared to the resistance obtained in case of DC input we will learn three resistance levels first one first one is DC DC or static DC or static resistance and the second one is AC or dynamic resistance second one is AC or dynamic resistance and the last one is average AC average AC resistance so these are the three resistance levels we have to study in this course and in this lecture I will explain DC or static resistance and in the coming presentations we will complete AC and average AC resistance so let's start with DC or static resistance when we apply a DC voltage to a circuit having semiconductor diode the operating point will not change with time because IDQ and VDQ will not change in case of DC input and because of this operating point will not change and we can easily calculate the diode resistance by finding the corresponding diode current and diode voltage if this is the VI characteristics of the diode and uh, let's say this point here is the Q point the operating point and we have to find the corresponding we have to find the corresponding diode voltage let's say it is VDQ and the corresponding diode current let's say it is I DQ then we can easily obtain the diode resistance by using this equation R D equals to V DQ by I DQ now why we are writing Q in the representation of diode voltage and current through the diode because Q is derived from Q ascent Q ascent Q is derived from Q ascent and Q ascent means still still or unvarying and QSN point is nothing but the operating point of the diode operating point is also called as QSN point and because of this we are writing this Q in the representation now what will happen to the DC resistance when we increase the diode current it is very simple if you increase the diode current the DC resistance will reduce so we can say that DC resistance decreases with increase in current through the diode and DC resistance is higher near the knee this is the knee of the characteristics and DC resistance will be higher near the knee because the diode current is lower and uh, for the upper part of this characteristics the diode current will become high and the DC resistance will become lower this is very easy thing to understand and if we talk about the reverse bias condition reverse bias condition then we already know current in case of reverse bias condition is very low reverse saturation current is very low and because of this the DC resistance will be high in reverse bias condition so this is all you should know about the DC resistance of PN junction diode now we will move to numerical problem in this numerical problem we have to determine the DC resistance levels for the diode at ID equals to 2 milliamps ID equals to 20 milliamps and VD equal to minus 10 volts this is the characteristics given to us and I will first solve I will first solve case B in case B we have to calculate DC resistance when ID is equal to 20 milliamps so we have to find RD and RD is equal to VD 
by i d it is fine if you don't write q in the representation v d is equal to 0 0.8 when i d is 20 milliamps you can see v d is equal to 0 0.8 volts so we have 0 0.8 volts as the value of v d and i d is 20 milliamps so 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3 this is in volts this is in amps now it is very easy to solve this this is equal to 40 ohms this is the value of DC resistance now we will solve case A in case A ID is equal to 2 milliamps so RD is equal to VD is 0 0.5 for 2 milliamps so VD is 0 0.5 and ID is 2 milliamps and when you solve this you will get 250 ohms so this is the answer for case A now we will solve last case case C in this case we have to find the diode resistance when VD is equal to minus 10 and when VD is minus 10 it simply implies we have to find DC resistance in reverse bias condition here we have minus 10 as the diode voltage and the current through the diode is 1 microamps RD is equal to 10 10 volt is the voltage and current is 1 microamps so 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 6 ohms and when you solve this you will find the resistance is 10 mega ohms now we will compare the three cases and for this I will arrange the three cases with increasing diode current diode current is minimum in reverse bias condition so case C is having the minimum current then we have case A in this case diode current is 2 milliamps so case A and finally we have case B in which diode current is 20 milliamps so case B and now we will arrange the DC resistance for all the three cases for case B DC resistance is 40 ohms for case A DC resistance is 250 ohms and for the last case DC resistance is 10 mega ohms very high resistance so for case C we have 10 mega ohms for case A we have 250 ohms 250 ohms and for case B we have 40 ohms 40 ohms and if we compare them we will find 10 mega ohms is the largest then we have 250 ohms and then 40 ohms so from this numerical we can see that on increasing the diode current on increasing the diode current the resistance the diode resistance decreases so the diode resistance is inversely proportional to the diode current. So this is all for this lecture. In the next lecture we will discuss AC resistance of PN junction diode. So see you in the next one.